Hello everybody and welcome back to this video series on SQL Alchemy. Today I will be showing you how to order data you get from the database using SQL Alchemy. For the purpose of this video, we are going to add more data to the database to show how methods in this and future videos will work. So here's what we're going to do. First we are going to import the random class and then we are going to create a variable names and set it equal to a list of names that we want to randomly select for our users in our database. And then we will have a variable ages and we will set it equal to a list of random ages that we want our users to have in the database randomly. And then we will say for x in range of 20. So we will loop 20 times. You can set it to whatever you want, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm just setting it to 20. Then we'll create a variable user and we will set it equal to a user object. And for our user object, if we go back to our models.py class, we can see that it does have a name, age, and an ID. The ID auto populates, so we just set the name and age of our users. So we can come back over here and say name equals random not choice of names. This will randomly select from this list of names. And then we can also do the same thing with age. So we can say age equals random choice of ages to randomly select one from this list. Then we will do session.add to add this user to our session. And then we will commit it at the end to finalize the transactions in our database. So whenever we go ahead and run it, we can then click on our users table and see that there are now 23 entries in this database with random names and ages. The first three do come from a previous video, so that's why there are 23 instead of just 20. But now let's get started. So in order to order data in SQL Alchemy, we can use the order by method of a query object. So first we want to query all of our users ordered by age and it will be in ascending order, meaning from lowest to highest. But we can do this by having a variable users set to equal to session.query of our user. Then we will add a dot order underscore by with parentheses. And inside these parentheses, we want to put what column we want to be ordering. So in this case, we want to do age, so we can do users.age and then we do a dot all at the end. And now we'll go ahead and print out to be sure that it worked correctly. So we can do for user and users, and we'll go ahead and print using fstrings the user's age, name, and ID, and then we'll go ahead and run it. And we can see that we did get all of the users, and they are in order from lowest to highest for the age. Now let's say we want the reverse order. We, won't, we don't want ascending, we want descending. So do that at the end of user.h here. All I have to do is type dot defc, open and close parentheses, and we go ahead and run it again. We can see that now it is from greatest to least. We can also pass multiple order by options by adding a comma and then more column names. So for example, we want to order by age and we also want to order by name. So we can do that by after user.age, we can add a comma and type user.name. And the ordering actually matters here. The first column that you specify, it will be sorted by first. If values in those columns are the same, then you can specify the next sorting to then sort again inside those groupings. We'll go ahead and run this. And we can see we are printing out all of the users here. And the users that have the same age, it then sorts them alphabetically by name from A to Z, since we're going in ascending order. So an example is like age 23 right here. The A's are on top, Andrew Pip, and then we have John Doe, since J does come after A. And the SQL equivalent of this is select star from users and order it by age and then name. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one.